everybody, this is Moss Bresnahan again, shooting into another quick video. This time, talking about how resisting against what you don't want can often have a detrimental and even opposite effect. So, for example, let's say you want this promotion really bad, but at the same time, uh, you fear not having it. And the fear of not having it outweighs um, the good thing about actually getting it. So you're worried and you're worried and you're like, oh, I need this promotion. I gotta have this promotion. But you're, um, it's way as far outweighing like actually getting it. So what you're doing is you're putting energy into not, into fearing not getting it. And that will outweigh the chances of you actually getting it because you're putting all your energy into that. So we put energy into you get. And I'm sure a lot of you guys familiar with spiritual stuff know that, but maybe some of you aren't. So, uh, interesting thing that Vadim Zeeland, he's a Russian physicist, wrote the book Transurfing Reality, wrote, is that when we create friction with something we don't want, then oftentimes we get that by pouring hate or pouring um, fear into it, as hate and fear are some of the more intense um, human emotions. It's, it's hate, fear, and the sex drive. All three are the most intense human emotions and the most energy. So if you can put those things into something, then that's what you're going to get. I don't recommend you put hate and fear into it. But if it does come up, recognize it's there and just be aware of that. Be aware that if you're hating something and fearing something and you're pouring your energy into this, then that's what you're going to bring about. So, and I've seen this in my life as well, I'm sure you have, and if you haven't, try and be a little more aware, because it's there, it's there. So, um, how do you get rid of that? So, one effective way I found to mitigate that is to not try and resist it, because that resistance, that energy I'm putting into something to resist something not happening, like, ooh, I don't want this to happen, is it's going to be brought about. You know, worst case scenario often happens the more you worry about it. So what I do is I will see worst case scenarios at times in certain situations in my life. If they come up, they'll always be there. They'll always see them. And I've accepted that. So what I do do is I just acknowledge it's there and I don't engage with it anymore. Think of it like, um, I believe I brought this analogy up before, but... Think of it like you're in an art gallery and you're looking at paintings in an art gallery. So you see a piece of art you don't like, and um, which you're bound to do, I guess. And you're not going to take it and throw it off the wall and get mad like, I hate this art, I hate it. You're just going to uh, let it be there and you're going to move on to the next painting. So think of it like that. You see a thought you don't like, it'll be there. Trust me, it's going to come up. There's no hiding from it. But what you can do is ignore it. Just let it be there. Be passive about it. Don't fight it. And um, eventually it'll go away on its own. And it's easier said than done. But I feel it's worth a shot. I uh, hope I could have helped you do that. So, um, yeah, try it out. And good luck to y'all. I'm done.